Oh, I'm gonna go right for the good ball. Oh, come on. Who don't love one of these? That looks real. Pretty nice. Found a gun. Freaking. <laughs> 32 long. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, what is up is I, your captain speaking, and we are here in this amazing, I say it every time I write, I don't know if it's amazing. We are in a storage unit. It could be the worst storage unit I ever bought, or this could not be the best storage unit I ever bought. But what I liked about this one, honestly, I don't know what I liked about this one. I can tell you what I liked about this one. Jess said, hey, I like this one. So let's get it. And here we are. One thing that's a trip, one thing that's a trip is the door was frozen, right? They couldn't get the door open. So we are gonna see what we could do to actually get the door open right in here, right now. Okay, so that's where the door went. What we saw online was we got to see this and you got to see that. Let me come in here. Look at that. That's all you could see on there. Looks like a little bit of water damage, but really well wrapped stuff. Looks like almost like a moving company. And that's exactly what I thought it said. I want to show everybody right here. The simple thing was that little latch. I just pushed the box over. Okay. What's inside? Jess really wanted this unit. Doesn't look, oh. <laughs> I think I see, <laughs> please be in there, N64. And the box is gonna put us a large chunk of our money. I shouldn't say large, but this unit cost a total of $1,400 after expenses, after taxes. And we are just gonna, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take a little bit of video, but my goal is to load this all up and empty this unit and get it back to the storage. And then we will film it when uh, Jess can come there. So the, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna see some things. Oh, 1949 yearbook. Some burnt CDs of Dexter. Interesting. Let's just, let's just start popping stuff open here. Let's just start getting it out. Carlos Sr. Okay. City of Paris. The city that never sleeps, right? Now, what city is City of Paris? I don't know. Oh, geez. Somebody's wedding gown or something. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I'm going to go right for the good box. Usually, you know, what we usually do is like, oh, we're going to save this to the end. I need to know. I need to know what I got. Please, please. Oh. Is, is this empty? <laughs> she's empty. But that doesn't mean she's not in here somewhere. What do we have here? Let's take a look. It's a broken. All right, I have hopes. I have hopes for this unit. I don't know why, but I do. So, like I said, I'm going to show some things a little bit, but my main goal today is just briefly get this loaded and get this back to the casa or the, huh, huh. I'm starting to not like this already. It's looking really sketch. Uh, what do we got here? Yeah. Yes, but it's a, I can see the style already formulating. I can see what kind of style they was into. But right now it's looking like every box is open. That's what I'm seeing right off the bat is every box is open. Wow. This has a weird feel. Almost like somebody's dump run. Looks like completely gone through. Let's see. <laughs> Wow. 
acetaphetamine, some E40 Fonzarelli. Hmm. I'm gonna go get my dolly, open the trailer up, and start moving before we get too much further. Chamberlain. This is just disgusting. Everything is just gone through and tossed and thrown in. I'm a little irked by this. It's like literally a dump run. It's like jewelry trinkets. There's nothing like there's potential, but it's so mom's stuff living room. I gotta see. But well, everybody's been looking for knife, so complaining right uh 32 long <laughs> uh yes <laughs> i was just mad now i'm happy mom what else mom's got in here mom's got a how do i get that out i'll have to look it up that's a brevet 32 millimeter <laughs> Holy crap. What else in mom's box? Come on, moms. Okay, so what that tells me is this is not 100% gone through. It's a very weird feel. I don't know what to even think now. Oh, <laughs> come on. Who don't love one of these? Hmm. We'll have to do something about that. Real, real vintage. Come on, there's got to be some jewelry in here. LV cases with Salvatore Ferragamo lenses. Okay. Casio. They must have thought they was getting into gold or something at one point. Cause... I don't even know. I'm just flabbergasted at the look of this storage. Look at these boxes. It's like partial good stuff. Oh man, we're going to have to fine tooth comb this. That's all there is to it. Mom stuff. Oh, vintage shirt here. Oh, yeah. What do we got here? Las Vegas, Harley Davidson, Nevada. Oh, let's get our camera the right way, Michael. Harley Davidson, okay, 3XL, and it looks like a double stitch. But that's still tight though, that's, that's like a $10 bill right there. Mom had some shoes. Okay, we got a lot of sorting to do. It's a neat sign. Shut up. Oh my God, I almost had a heart attack. That is a nice print. scared me for a minute that could have been that could have been everything right there we could have been done <laughs> that's not it's definitely not real that is not real you could just see i'm sweating hot sweats hot flashes right now because that's i search we all have our things that we're looking for right everybody's got their own angles and stuff me i'm not just looking for a paycheck i'm hunting treasures and the one treasure i've been looking for the most is an original Picasso just like this. That is the one thing I've been hunting for for the longest time is an original 100% authentic oil painting by Picasso. Oh, they got me. Yearbooks, vintage yearbooks. Oh, 
Dang. Come on, why are these all stored inappropriately? Dang. Carlos Pinel, St. Joe's. Okay. Bill Bridges. Jeez Louise, this is so in, inappropriately stored. I don't even know what to do. I don't know if that's a good one. Huh. Okay. Things are just jumping out of every corner almost as if there's cool stuff in there. But I don't know. We'll be fine tooth combing this later with Jess. That's for sure. Oh, so far. I'm not really trying to get too crazy in here. I'll get those ones out of your way. Whew. Oh, breaking a little sweat here. This is a little bit of work, but luckily it's all boxes. I'm still excited to go through this. Granted, this thing is pretty well gone through in my opinion. I already found some great treasures. All right, as fast as I could, I got that done. Well, I did my best to do a little bit of filming there. It's kind of hard to do the filming and everything. I I know it looks easy on TV or on these shows, but it's not exactly the easiest task. We got this done. Filled my whole trailer, literally. I'm surprised, but luckily it was all boxes. I'm kind of discouraged. It was looks really gone through. It's weird. My first, you see the empty N64 box. You see the boxes look like trash, but then you start seeing little things tucked inside of there. I saw a hundred and 20 or 130 dollar xbox 360 game a picasso which oh this is pretty tight look benji showed me this i'm shout out to benji because he's always giving me information there's the picasso print pretty nice all right it's vehicle swap time we're over here at alex's house look at this guys you got alex over here alex over where right there he's going through a storage unit the business never ends guys the business that's what the whole point of this clip for me was to show you guys here we're high at alex is swapping vehicles and he's going through a unit he just bought it's like sunday it was like 6 30 at night Val was supposed to rest but Val is working got a whole u-haul like it's not a little one but it's still a whole one I, I don't bite up too much and i can chew it's all right don't feel bad i moved uh we did two 10 by 25 this week i finished off my other 10 by 25 and i bought two 10 by 10s we made money this week 